All right, this is what's going on here. This is a new hot wire harness. This is the same engine I had running on the Fast Easy EFI with a Hemi 6. But uh, this is a new hot wire harness. And I've got it all plugged in. I had to do a little splicing in here because the hot wire harness I bought had an extra front control module connector that kind of looped everything back and then went to this connector. And it's almost like I, the wires were too long because I couldn't get it to read on this computer. But I got it to read on this computer. And I got it to read with this computer with the current wiring with both this one, this uh, Altel reader and this uh, ELM327 reader. So for some reason, when I put this computer on, the 6.1 computer, the wires were too long. So I had to wire a different ODB2 connector right into the connector and then I'll figure out the, the wiring later find out why it's too long for it to work but with that thing connected with my short wires turn this on turn this on turn this on I show that it finally connects let's see this thing connect too far away. Let's get this thing closer. There it is. Automatic search. It's blinking. And it says connected to ECU. Okay, so these are the actual readings now. Here's my intake air temperature. I've got the load set up. I've got the coolant temp. Voltage is set to 12.5 right now because it's just on a battery charger. Just to show that that's working, here's my uh, air intake temperature sensor. And it's showing 55 right now. I'm gonna blow on it. And you can see that that guy went up to 70 and now it's going back down. So that's showing it's it's reading off the the ECU that's plugged in right here. Those are these wires to my ODB2 connection to my ELM327. So all these readings I see off of this Android tablet will be accurate. So let's see, uh, these are two O2 sensors, air temperature, let's see. Okay, so let's see if this thing fires up. Everything plugged in. Only thing I'm not using is that ODB2 connection. I've got two brand new O2 sensors. I've got the wiring. I usually have my own fuel pump relay, but this this harness came with one. And uh, let me hook that back in there. It's just my hot wire to my reader. get this thing back up all right so let's see if this thing fires up so my ignition's on and all I have to do is hit this let's see if this fires let me check the antifreeze real quick um, the first time I fired it with the other system on it I had the cap on and it thermostat opened and it sucked itself down and the coolant was a little low so uh, I'm leaving this open, leaving it a little low so when it expands it doesn't come out of the top, but let's fire this up. Let's see. Alright, let's see this thing go.
All right, that's just to show that this thing runs with the hot wire harness. It's a brand new harness. This is a, my 3000 mile uh, 61 Hemi, but I'm just showing um, that this thing is running. I don't have a sending unit for my tack. It has to tap off of one of these wires, even though uh, the guy I bought this harness from said he wired in all these extra special connectors for his stage six uh, two-step. So this is one wire going to every coil where you would use it on a stage six two-step that would uh, have an input off of every coil wire instead of the multiplier, the one times eight multiplier that I have on my other engine it's taking one coil wire, multiplying it times eight, and it's driving my tack. So that's what that other sending unit is I have on my uh, on my 5.7 Hemi in the CUDA. But this is a 6.1, so I'm going to have to get another multiplier for that. And this is to show this thing's running. So with this hot wire harness, I've got one switch, 12 volt wire I had to hook up. I hooked up the one wire to my fuel pump that came off of the fuel pump relay. One of these relays is a fuel pump relay. Had to get a gas pedal. Got this from the junkyard. One from Rock Auto and one from the junkyard. They're all over the junkyard and they're cheap. So um, had to hook up one wire, hot wire to constant 12 volts. Had to hook up all the factory sensors. So here's the capacitor. It came with a connector for the capacitor. It came with a connector for the knock sensors, factory knock sensor. Had to hook a wire up to, this says uh, like a push button. You can hook this wire up to like a push button start or your ignition wire. But uh, off of that also had a wire that went to the starter relay, which I'm not using. So, uh, by the way, the 6-1 harnesses that come from hot wire, they're meant to run under the intake. So, unless you tell Chris you need a hot wire harness that is for a 5-7 where everything runs on top because all this is blocked off, he's going to make you a harness that goes underneath your intake and then comes out the front underneath for all the sensors that come up here. So just remember that in case uh, you order one from him and don't tell him it's for a 6.1 or a 5.7 because the wires may be too short or too long depending on what you order. But uh, that's this, uh, I guess the end of this video. I, like I said in my other video, this is a factory cooler off the junkyard car that I got uh, this reservoir with. And I hooked up a pressure sensor so I can, this pressure gauge tells me how much pressure is actually going through the power steering pump coming out of it. Cause I play with the springs in there. And uh, I realized when you're not turning the wheel, you don't get any pressure. There's no pressure going through the pump or the pump's pumping out pressure, but there's no pressure building up until you hit the stop. So as it really, as it needs the pressure as you're steering, that's when you'll see this needle going up and down. But if you uh, hold it all the way to left or right, you'll see it max out. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm making sure, um, like with this Borgeson box, it wants around 1,100 pounds of pressure. I'm not sure the factory one, I think uh, Ehrenberg said the factory ones, if you want good tighter steering, you want around 800, 850. Um, but this pump here, this is off uh, an 06, 61. So this is a factory for the 06. I don't know if the newer ones put out more pressure. I read somewhere on the web that they do, but this is all the pre, uh, pre-09 pumps, okay? So that's it. This is the drive-by wire throttle body. The other one I had on here was the one I modified. Um, I guess that's the end for this video. I'm going to change the fuel rails to put my uh, my uh, return system on it because right now this is just the, the deadhead system. And that's it. This is a brand new hot wire harness. This one I bought off of uh, a guy on Facebook Marketplace. 
he was in the G3 swap and he had this 6.1 computer tuned by a Hemi tuner. That's what he says. But it fires right up. I'm able to read the VIN and go through and uh, calibrate the gas pedal with uh, my Altel reader, which is this guy. This guy lets me go in and change all the settings if I need to change anything. This one's basically just a reader. But that's it. Good luck with your swaps, guys. And I always have more stuff coming up on my channel if you want to subscribe. And that's the end of this one.